It's been a great day, yeah. So welcome to ELP, a mental learning platform. Yeah, and today what we are going to be looking at is how to create subtitle in Premiere Pro or how to caption a video in Premiere Pro. Yeah, so let's just get into it. So I would like to bring in my video, the video I want to use. So let us just drag this one that I have here. It is one of my videos that I've uploaded in on this channel. So after bringing it here, what we need to do is drag it to our timeline. Yeah. And after you have, you have brought it to your timeline, after taking it to your timeline, just ensure you, you click. You can right click on this place, then you select new item. Ensure you are on somewhere like this. If you click on this arrow, you are not going to see it. But if you click on this area, it will show you new item. Then you select captions. Captions. So after selecting captions, you can just click on this place. Yeah. So click on standard. Under standard, you will see open captions. This is the one I use. I may still go through the remaining, but this one is the one I use frequently and it's easy to use. So just click open caption, then you set it to the dimension you you want, you get. So the dimension you want the caption to be, you can set it by clicking on the width and the height. And the reason why it has this dimension here is because my video is this dimension. It will literally select on the, uh, uh, on the default, it will literally select your width and your height of the video you are working on. I hope you get that. So leave it as square pixel. That's good. Then just click on OK. Yeah, automatically to create this that we have right here, then you need to drag this to your to your timeline. You can't see it because it's quite small. So if you reduce this, if you reduce this guy, if you do it this way to zoom out, and if you do it this way, you reduce it to zoom out for you so that you'll be able to see what you are doing. So just let's just increase it a bit. So now let's check our screen. I would like to increase this. Let me adjust it a little. Then come here, hundred percent. Yeah, let me put it on hundred percent so that we can see it. See our caption right here. The reason we are seeing it like the reason I had to zoom in for me to see it. Is because of the space on my screen my screen is quite small you get so this is our caption right there and how do we edit our caption how do we put our test there okay so I would like to play the video so that I can know what I want my caption to be shall we okay let's try that I'm doing good I am doing good I am doing good I am doing good that's what the audio says so we need to click on this Double click on this black stuff that you can see here. This black type where you have type caption test. Double click on it and it will automatically open a layer somewhere at the left hand side of your screen where you can edit your test. And this is where you can edit your test. So just put it. I am doing good. Oh, we don't have to make it a capital letter. You can do that so look at this look at the left hand side of my screen you can see what is happening if i delete any text here you can see that it is deleting here as well please pay attention to the two of them so you can literally be be be, be editing it and be seeing what you are editing at the same time can you see i'm doing good let me add thank you to it can you see what is happening on your screen so literally you've gotten out to caption or subtitle your video whatever video it is that is how to achieve it so how do we now how do we make it continue let's say i want to add more let's say i want to add more to what i have here already i'm doing good guys i want to teach you okay so i'm doing good so where we have i'm doing good can you see where it stops so let's say I want to start another caption from there. All I need to do is just reduce this guy to where my timeline, my timeline, uh, uh, um, um, where this arrow is. I've forgotten his name now. 
so where this arrow is i just need to reduce this one to that place then click on this plus right here can you see add caption so just click on this plus and it will give you another box in front of this one exactly in front of this one i hope you can see it i hope you can see it yeah so now let's play guys i want to teach you okay guys guys i want to teach you we can't see it now because this guy the stopwatch is not directly on my caption so let's go guys i want to teach you i want to teach you i'm doing good guys i want to teach you today how to I want to teach you today okay so let's say I want to stop at I want to teach you today so let's take it back to today I want to teach you today I want to teach you today I want to teach you today it's saying I want to teach you today so this is how you go about it this is how you edit it so you just move it a little bit then click on plus again to add more how to use that writer effect how to use that writer effect I want to teach you today how to use that writer effect how to use that writer effect that writer effect definitely in Premiere Pro so let's take it back I'm doing good guys I want to teach you today how to use that writer effect in Premiere Pro. Yeah, so you can see that Premiere Pro is not showing because this guy is not extended to where Premiere Pro is. So let's take that again. Good guys, I want to teach you today how to use that writer effect in Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro. Yeah, so that's basically how to do it. So you just go on and on and on and on like that until you get to the end of the video. Until you get to the end of the video. So let's say you don't want a black background you don't want your, your 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 caption to have a black background you can make adjustment to that here just come to this place you can change it to whatever color you want here okay that's the color of our that's the color of the test right there you can make adjustment to the color to the color of the box somewhere here let me look for it okay so background color you can see can you see the purple place your cursor on it and you will see background color so i don't want background color all i need to do is just reduce it to zero and it will remove automatically so let's go back to test you can change the color of the test here by clicking on this t this test color you can change the test color there to whichever color you like and you can as well change the background here click on this then you reduce it to zero that's how to remove the background let's now say that you want the the, the background color but you don't want it to be too thick or to be to be on 100 percent you can increase it to which num whichever number you want it to be so that's literally how to do that how to make adjustment to the background color of your subtitle or your caption in premiere pro right so let's let's say i i want to change the the test that i have uh, i want to change my test type i want to change my font i can come right here and just you know select any one that i want and if you look at my screen you will see that it has automatically changed to that color everything has changed to that particular font that i have selected so now let's say that i want it to be that sized that's how to do it guys that's how to do it and if there's a specific one you want to change you don't want everything to change to that color you can as well do that by just highlighting that box or ensuring you are on that box and just click on the one you want to change we can see the change now because we are on the third layer of the caption but if we go here we'll be able to see We'll be able to see the edit we have made the edit we have made so 
can you see how it is changing so that's literally how to make adjustment to how to how to subtitle to your video and how to make adjustment to the background color of your video in premiere pro and you can as well increase the size here can you see see the size and you can align it as well to the right to the center it's because we don't have let's let me duplicate this so that you'll be able to see what i'm talking about yeah so now let's say i want to align one particular one to the left and the other to the right okay that is not here can you see this see what is happening on my screen the editor i'm making on this place is literally showing on my screen can you see what is happening so guys just try your hands on it and let me know in the comment section how helpful the video is to you let me know i would like to know and i would like to know where you are watching from and that will be it for today and probably after maybe you are new to premiere pro and you are wondering okay after all of these things how do i export my video that's quite simple just come to file click on export media then you will change the name of your file right here just click on this blue then export it export it you can leave it at h2 8.264 or you can use quicktime you get <laughs> those are the those are the major two i use and if you want to change to audio you can as well do that by clicking on mp3 then that's it guys so that will be it for today take care of yourself and bye for now i'm doing good guys i want to teach you today how to use that right there